All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking and reacting about Dr. Phil's recent appearance on the My Huckabee Show this past weekend on Saturday and Sunday. You can watch uh, Huckabee on TBN uh, in the evenings. You have to check it according to your local times. But I don't normally watch Huckabee. I'm not like a huge Huckabee fan in general. I think he's more like the 50 plus crowd. Um, so I don't really normally watch him or anything like that. But um, I do like to watch things on TBN. I am Christian if you're watching this channel. <laughs> um, and I do agree. I do like a lot of things that Huckabee says. Like he's a very warm guy. He's very funny, entertaining. But he also has like a really a good way of sharing truths and things that are going on in our nation. So anyway, I thought, oh, I see Dr. Phil's on. I think I'm going to watch today. This looks like it could be interesting. And I think one thing that really stood out to me about Dr. Phil being on his show is that I kind of associate Dr. Phil more with like Oprah Winfrey and not that Oprah Winfrey is not conservative or anything, but I usually generally think of her as more like probably liberal leaning new agey and I kind of thought you know probably Dr. Phil's similar to her in that aspect but I really don't think they are it seems like Dr. Phil maybe maybe as he's gotten older maybe after he's talked to like thousands of people you know his um beliefs have changed or solidified or I'm not really sure what but in his conversation and in his interview with Mike Huckabee he shared like a lot of interesting truths and a lot of things that I think should be encouraging especially to Christians about um, standing up for what you believe in you know don't be afraid to share don't be afraid to you know speak out on things that are important to you he talks a lot about that in this video so definitely if you are one who is maybe more quiet or reserved when it comes to sharing your viewpoints especially maybe with coworkers or other friends who are like thinking a little bit different than you um i think watching this whole clip i'll link it below i'm not going to show the whole thing today just little parts of it i think will really help to encourage you to don't be shy um that it can be it can make a really big difference and hi, if you're, if this is the first time to my channel, my name is Lindsay. This is a brand new channel. I just started a couple months ago and I'm, you know, experimenting with different kinds of topics, but I really like to focus on, you know, Christian faith-based topics. I've shared a lot of testimonies on my channel, just things God has done in my life to make me a stronger Christian. I wasn't always a strong Christian, probably not even up to like my 28 and, and early 30s is when I really became a stronger Christian through different things that uh, happened in my life. Um, but I share a lot about those those things on this channel. Um, I want to share more cultural topics. I'm not going to do it like reaction videos all the time, but when I see something that stands out, I definitely would want to share it with you all. And I'm going to be sharing more about my experience going to Bible college. I'm going to Bible college this fall, so in Colorado at Karis Bible College. Um, so if you're curious about about what that's like. You know, I never had it in my plans to go to Bible college. I'm 38. Uh, I've been teaching on and off the last, you know, uh, decade. But some things happened in the last couple of years that totally shifted my direction. And I'm gonna be sharing more of that on this channel. So definitely subscribe if any of those things sound interesting to you. And let's get into the video today. So the first thing that Huckabee and Dr. Phil talk about is common sense. Where is common sense in the United States today? Hmm, that's a good question. Let's get started. No, I think anybody who has watched you over the years know that you do bring a level of common sense <clears throat> that has been missing in a lot of the uh, pseudoscience of psychology and in some of the uh, more garbled versions of it. Well, you know, common sense is just not common enough anymore, right? It's and not. It seems like it's really getting less and less common as each year goes by. We've got people in America that I think are focused on trying to tear this country down and are hijacking the narrative that has made America what it is over the years. Hijacking America, ouch. I think what he's alluding to in this part is probably like cancel culture and a lot of things going on with our children with the, you know, the whole transgenderism and children and affirming surgeries and, you know, freedom of speech. And I, he, later he gets a little bit into the guns and things like that and parenting, but there's a lot going on that even just five or 10 years ago, I would have no idea that we would be talking about these things so much today. I truly believe that family in America is under attack. I, yeah. I think it's been under attack and I think that attack has become a feverish attack on the family unit in America. 
And, and family is the backbone of America. And you, you, I heard you talking so eloquently about what's going on in Chicago and, and what we saw. And I see these kids out there doing this. And you know what first came to my mind is, where are their parents? Yeah, yeah. Why, why, uh, there used to be a thing, you and I are old enough to remember it. Used to be a thing that came on the network, there'd be a little ding and they'd say, it's 10 o'clock, yes. where are your children? Yeah. No, I don't remember that. I guess I'm not old enough to remember that. But yeah, sometimes you got to wonder. But there's I mean, but these days with inflation and things like that, parents are working two jobs, three jobs, and their kids are just, you know, doing other things. They're not at home. They're out playing. They don't have that. Those two parents at home at night that's like guiding them, answering questions, helping them with homework. And and there's probably a slew of other things going on and, you know, broken families as well. So there's just a lot of things changing in our culture today. In this next clip, I'm going to show you, he's going to be talking about just the solid majority and, uh, you know, standing up for what you are and what you believe in. So let's take a listen. In, in and you wonder what, if, it's, if it's where it is now and this silent majority in America needs to stop being silent. Yes. We, we need to... And, don't be silent. <laughs> and there, uh, and I, I see it so much where people don't want to talk about their faith. I'm a Christian. I'm, I'm proud to say I'm a Christian. And I, I think that the silent majority cannot afford to be silent. We need to stand up. We need to step up. We need to speak up. And we need to reclaim the narrative in America about what's expected. Because if it is where it is now and we continue to lean back, where do you think it's going to be in five years? If, if yeah, this is a good this is a good thing. Like a good thing to bring up, you know, the solid majority and like being a Christian. I made this channel two months ago, but really it was on my heart to make it, you know, even a couple of years ago. But I was just thinking, like, what are my friends gonna think? Or what are other people gonna think gonna think about me? Or random people on the internet that I don't even know. It doesn't even matter. But <laughs> finally I was like whatever. I don't even care anymore. Like I'm glad I'm at that point where I really don't care like what anyone thinks or whatever like i think it's really more important that we be emboldened to share if we really believe in what we believe in if you're really a christian share something with somebody it doesn't have to be on youtube like it could be with a coworker, it could be just with a friend like just talk about things that are going on like don't be afraid and obviously one of the things i really get frustrated with right now and people being quiet they're afraid if they like point something out that someone's going to call you a name who cares if they call you a name like that what's that going to do to you that's like no big deal the persecution of christians back throughout time you know we're terrible we're much worse than name calling so if it's just a little name calling like let it roll off your back afraid because a lot of people they don't want to be labeled nobody wants to be labeled nobody wants to be called a bigot or a racist i mean who would so people they just lay low how do they get over that fear well part of it is if you realize that you're not alone you know if people stand up and if they feel like they're that lone voice in, in the dark that's speaking out against uh, all of this that's going on then it, it can it can be pretty scary but you know there was a time when we stood up for the people that we believed in we stood by our neighbors we stood by our family members and now I think people are afraid of getting canceled. They're afraid of getting those labels. And we can't do that anymore. You can't give all the attention to those who are yelling the loudest. Mm. Because that, just because they're yelling loud doesn't mean they're right. It just means they're loud. Just because they're loud doesn't mean they're right. And just because people are quiet and they're not saying anything doesn't mean that they're wrong either. <laughs> like he said, like, you know people are afraid of a dame or whatever but really the more you start sharing with people you actually get more encouraged which sounds kind of weird but the more that you like when I first started making a video the very first video I made like yeah I was really scared to make I'm gonna make a testimony video okay like I was nervous the first time but then when I put it out there the reality is that 
on YouTube, for for example, like not really everyone sees your first video. It's kind of buried. But the more videos you make, the more exposure your channel gets, which means more people are going to see your video. But over time, after I started making more videos, like I really didn't care. And then I started getting mostly positive feedback. There's always going to be trolls out there. Of course, we just got to whatever. But just the more you make, the more you share, the more that you're not afraid anymore. All right. So let's keep watching. Important. And, you know, I hear people talking about, you know, they don't know what's going on at their children's school. You need to know what's going on. It's your job to know. Yeah. And you hear about these school shooters and parents say, well, I, I didn't know he had nine AK-47s under his bed. Well, you know what? It's your job to know. You need to look under the bed. It's your job to know. And, and it, it's not informing on your, your child. It's getting help for your child. Yeah, that right. Actually, that kind of hits home because I live here in Nashville. And obviously, there was that Christian school shooting about a month and a half ago, which actually happened at a school uh, where that has, has a church connected to it. It's like one building, one big building. But my best friend from high school, she actually got married at that church a couple of years, like five years ago, five or six years ago. So I've been in that church. I've been in that school. I remember getting ready in one of those classrooms to to a uh, you know, for the ceremony. So it's so crazy to think that that school was, you know, struck by a school shooter. And, it, and I just thought like me and my mom thought about this girl that was like, she was living at home with her parents, but her parents didn't know that she had five or six rifles. And we were like, how did they not know? The rifles are huge. How did they not know she didn't have them in her room? And they said that they knew she had won, I think, but they thought she had sold it. But it just really reminded me, you really need to reach out and connect to people and disconnect from media so much. And all right, let's keep watching. This moment, you'll probably never go back to that point. People need to reach out. And I'm saying the things I'm saying because I'm concerned. I love this country. Mm. And I'm proud to say I love this country. I stand up when the flag is, is flowing. And I'm not, a, I'm not ashamed of it. And yeah, these days, like a lot of people in Gen Z are like ashamed of the American flag. I remember one of my friends sent me a TikTok and this girl was like, oh, I'm afraid of the American flag. And she wanted to put the LGBTQ flag in her classroom. And I was just thinking like, man, like who, what, what are you, what is making you afraid of the American flag? Really, they need to have a strong foundation of truth in their life. Well, so much. Let's get, let's keep going. If we will do one thing. I think we have to decide that we are going to be who we are on purpose. Mm. You cannot wake up every day and just react to what's in front of you. You can't just be who you are kind of reactively by default. You have to decide who you are and be who you are on purpose. Choose what you believe, choose what you want, and act accordingly. Be who you are on purpose. Man, and this is so true right here. Like you really have to know who you are, know what you believe and be uh, encouraged to stand up and display that to others. And if you do that, if we all do that, if all of you do that and we start doing it, then I, I promise you we can move this country back in the right direction. Do I think there's hope? I think there's an abundant amount of hope here. Mm. I think there's an abundant amount of joy. I, I hear this audience and see these people out here, and I think these people got in their cars today. Well, I'll cut it off right there. But basically, Dr. Phil, <laughs> I mean, I'm like him. Like, I have a whole, like, abundant amount of hope. I'm not giving up. A lot of times when you turn the news on, the nightly news, it's like every single negative bad thing out there. And even YouTube, to extent, to an extent, can be negative a lot of times even christian channels they're always like picking on other channels and picking on other christians and sometimes it's really just a lot of gossip um but i do have hope and i do put my focus in the lord in jesus like one thing that has definitely strengthened in my life is reading my bible finding the truth because obviously the truth you know will set you free the truth will set you free so when it free when i say free even basically what i mean is I'm not worried about what other people are thinking. I'm not afraid to share my thoughts. I'm not feeling like, 
you know, scared of persecution and things like that. That's why it's really important to know who you are, to know what you stand for, and to share that with others, you know, at appropriate times. And maybe you don't know where to begin. Maybe you're like, I don't want to start a YouTube channel. Well, you definitely don't have to start a YouTube channel. Like for me, like it's something I enjoy doing, making videos and things like that. But if you just like are wondering how to navigate talking with friends or even with acquaintances or things like that, like I, I'm reading this um, book right here. I don't know if you could see it, it says Resilient standing firm in a hostile world. And actually, like, I was a little critical of it at first. But then I actually, and the more I got into it, the more I really was like, wow, you know, this is really eye-opening. Um, it kind of talks about, like, Christians versus the more progressive agenda in America today. And a lot of those topics, uh, you know, surrounding being more progressive or progressive ideology. Um, and actually, it's a super easy read. Like, I kind of made it sound really messy right there. Transgender topics in general, LGBTQT plus things like that. Um, I, yeah, I really enjoyed it. So I'll leave a link to this below. But, um, you know, just growing in your faith. Just growing in your faith, asking Holy Spirit to direct you. He's going to really give you the wisdom you need to navigate in this world. And the hope and encouragement in your spirit as well. And just overcome anything. So let that be an encouragement to you. Actually, I was super encouraged by watching Dr. Phil today. It was definitely like, wow, you know, Dr. Phil, like he's been on TV for a long time. And if anything, it, it would be a little bit nerve wracking for him to like come out and say that he is like standing up for more family values. Like actually family values is almost controversial sometimes these days. There's a lot going on out there. Anyway, I just want you to be encouraged. If you want to see more videos like this and other videos, you know, faith, culture, Bible college, definitely subscribe to this channel. Feel free to leave a comment below. Be nice. I want this to be an encouraging community where we share thoughts. Don't have to agree with each other all the time. Oh, I almost forgot to add, but if you want to know more about me, you can check out my testimony. I'll link it, uh, link it over here uh, for you to check it out. Just my testimony of me becoming a stronger Christian. Like I grew up in church, but maybe like you or maybe not like you. I don't know. Uh, you didn't necessarily fit in or get everything until maybe, you know, you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s and beyond. And I really got closer to the Lord and when I was 28, 30 plus. So anyway, I share that more in my testimony. So feel free to check it out or any other testimonies on my channel. They're really going to bless you, I think. Uh, so that's all I want to say. See you in the next video.